In the days following the earthquake in Haiti, hundreds of Americans living and working there were airlifted to the United States, but one family was forced to leave behind two very special members of their family, their pet dogs, who were no strangers to natural disasters. It was a very simple question of taking care of my family and getting my wife and my baby out. And it was heartbreaking. Heartbreaking because Paul's dogs, Dieter and Bella, had been abandoned once before in Hurricane Katrina. Paul Fowler was living in New Orleans when Katrina struck. Having survived, he wanted to give back. Hey, so he adopted Dieter and Bella, Hi. who were homeless after the storm. I promised never, if I could, within my own power, not to ever abandon them again. Three years ago, Paul's wife got a job doing AIDS relief work in Haiti, so the family and the dogs moved to Port-au-Prince. And then, incredibly, they faced disaster again. I was absolutely certain that we were going to die. For three days and nights after the quake struck, Paul, his wife, seven-month-old daughter, and dogs slept in the streets. They were finally airlifted out, but were forced to leave their dogs behind. I left an absolute apocalyptic, catastrophic situation in Haiti, thinking I will never come back here and I will never get my dogs. What the Fowlers did not know was that amongst the massive relief effort in Haiti was a team from the Humane Society. They heard about Dieter and Bella's story and stepped in, tracking the dogs down and arranging to fly them to Florida. These dogs are very lucky and they're very sweet considering uh, the stories that their lives could tell. The latest chapter in the dogs' lives was written at the Miami International Airport last week when an exhausted but relieved Humane Society volunteer wheeled Dieter and Bella to their beaming owner. Oh, there yeah. go. <laughs> their story is one of hope and survival amidst overwhelming sadness and despair. A story of a promise fulfilled. Really so in awe of the whole process of them getting here because it was people with enormous hearts that tried so hard, heroically, to do something almost impossible. And the Fowlers say they are committed to helping Haiti rebuild and that they have decided to settle back where it all began, in New Orleans. Kelly Wallace, CBS News, New York.